Using organic materials, these birdhouses are assembled one at a time. They take between 15 and 20 hours to create. Wood such as spalted maple, walnut, Lebanon cedar, leopard wood, bobinga, bamboo, lacewood, and many other woods are incorporated into the houses, some with a live edge, many slabs. Some of the birdhouses use the shiplap technique or board and batten technique construction styles. Custom shaped pieces of wood are sanded and used as awnings and posts. Using deer antler sheds, walnut shell slices, burl wood veneers, burls and wood tree roots identifying features make each house unique and special. Many log cookies with identifying grain patterns give dimension and an ornate feel to the birdhouse in a similar way that gingerbread adds to an old Victorian home. Pyrography and wood burning also known as soju ban gives a feel of warmth and a homestead personalization. Small naming plaques identify the birdhouses as a home or a cabin in the woods. Some people have called these little birdhouses hobbit homes. Sections of resin pores have been custom made to fit into the peaks of the houses as well as areas that needed color and balance. In some houses, glass has been added for a feeling of visual translucent movement. Carving has been added on some of the wood cookies to add depth and character, as well as pyrography. Multiple techniques have been incorporated into individual pieces, such as in some of the feet, which display both pyrography, carving, and sojuban. Each birdhouse is meant to be viewed from all sides. Using special hooks, they can be hung or simply sat on their feet. Each house has a removable bottom for cleaning at the end of the season. They stand around 12 inches to 18 inches tall and sometimes are the same width. They are approximately 6 inches deep. Metals such as brass, copper, steel, and more add contrast and texture as well as color. 
Resin shapes are filled with organic materials that also add interest. I sometimes use found objects that add interest and functionality. I hope you have enjoyed my short visual descriptive video revealing my unusual aesthetic choices when creating these birdhouses. If you would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications or visit my site at mhstudios.com. Feel free to email me at mheinrich at mhstudios.com if you have any questions. Again, thanks for watching. This house has been made to store special instructions for renters on a remote rental cabin in the woods. Mm -hmm.